Hey you guys, it's Adriana. Um, I'm just making a super quick video just to talk about this Koala brand glossy paper that I'm using. Um, I posted a short little highlight of it just to um, on Instagram and on Facebook just to show like the like insane amount of glossiness to this paper and like right away I was flooded with messages people wanted more information on this paper and I have been wanting to review it for a long time so this is what that is um some of you may say like where you been living under a rock because I am a little late to the whole koala brand paper game um, but if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I am obsessed, I mean like crazy for the Office Depot brand brochure paper. So once I found that, I literally just stopped looking. I never went anywhere else. But I kept seeing videos in my Facebook group. If you haven't joined, it is Adriana's Paper Crafts group. I kept seeing people post uh, their projects and I would ask like, oh my God, like what paper did you use? And they would say this Koala brand paper. So this is what that is. I purchased it on Amazon. It looks like that's the only place you can get it like quickly, legitimately. Um, I visited some other website and it was like in a different language. So <laughs> go to Amazon. So far, for those of you asking, it looks like they offer only for inkjet. Um, so if you only have a laser, unfortunately, you wouldn't be able to use this. But from my experience, my laser printer, um, when I use laser paper, it actually comes out kind of matte. It's really strange. So I would anyways just recommend for you to use an inkjet printer with this paper, no matter what. The printer that I'm using will be posted in the description box below. Literally all the details you need in the description box below. So please read that. Um, but the printer that I used is my Canon Pixma large format inkjet printer. Um, and I was printing out some unicorn chip bags. I'm going to, do you see that? I mean, my glossy brochure paper is amazing. Again, I'm, I'm not even going to talk about it because I've already, like, talked everyone's ear off about it. Um, the reason I loved it was because of that glossiness. But I don't know. I feel like this one is, like, a hint, a smidge, just, like, a tiny amount more glossy. So here's a chip bag assembled. I will be posting photos of this as well. That way you can see that. Check out my Facebook and my Instagram to see like better lighted videos. I, I feel right now it looks like it's kind of dark. Um, how about I just insert the pictures in here? <laughs> so as you can see, it looks really, really Ugh, amazing by the way um, on most of my product photos I usually do edit them a little bit and by edit I just mean like I will increase the exposure meaning it just kind of seems more lit up not as like dark and gray um, but really that's all I do to my photos in the photos you just saw of this chip bag I did not edit in any way it is all natural lighting using my Samsung Galaxy S whatever the heck I have 20 plus or something um, and just using my phone camera. So that's how high quality this paper is as well as a mix of my Canon printer. So, um, but you can see that. So what is good? What is bad about this paper? I will be completely honest with you. I got this packet of paper. I opened this packet of paper. I pulled a sheet of paper out and I said, ugh. I literally like out loud, alone in my office no one is here to hear this thought of mine that comes out i pull it out and i'm like oh no no ma'am mm -mm. mm -mm. what is this like a dollar bill not even it is very thin in fact the one that i bought literally says koala glossy something thin paper it is 30 pounds paper if you're not familiar with the weight of paper, there are a ton of videos on my YouTube that you need to go ahead and watch because it's important to learn that stuff. But your typical copy paper, your average run-of-the-mill copy paper, is usually about 20 pounds. It could be 20 to 24 pounds. So just imagine that. Imagine you holding a regular sheet of paper in your hand. It's pretty thin. It's not like if you were to hold like a brochure paper or flyer paper or like a business card kind of weight. 
So this paper, it is 30 pounds. So it is just slightly above the thickness of regular copy paper, but below the weight of like cardstock if you like to do paper crafts, you know, because your average cardstock is 65 pounds. So this is 30 pounds. It is thin. Also, I pulled it out and I immediately felt the back. This back, as you can see, there's no glossiness to it because it is matte, meaning it is single-sided. So what I failed to realize when I purchased this is that it is considered photo paper. Photo paper, just like the photos you buy from Walgreens, it is single-sided. On the back, you're always going to have a little bit of texture on there. So there's not much. It's kind of velvety on the back, but it just kind of adds to the whole like thin feel of it because it's not glossy on the back. So if you're planning to print double-sided images, you will not be able to do so with this specific paper, which again, the link for the exact one that I bought is in the description box below. So make sure to click on that if you want to purchase the exact paper I'm using here. Um, it does look like they have a heavier one on Amazon. I see one that says Koala Thick uh, Photo Paper, Heavyweight, Double-Sided, High Glossy, um, so again, you have different options, but from what I've seen, they're all for ink jets. The only thing I saw for a laser printer was um, water slide paper for decals, for cups and stuff like that. They do offer um, also sublimation paper, and apparently this brand also makes sticker paper, um, but they, it's just not available right now. I looked and I couldn't find any that's actually currently available to purchase, but it looks like they make it. Um, Honestly, I really like it. For this chip bag, normally you guys know that I use hot glue for all of my wrappers. This is so thin, I didn't even want to use hot glue because hot glue would add that density and that heaviness to it. So this is actually, I used my um, double-sided adhesive tape, which you guys know I use this a lot. This thin one is from Dollar Tree. This thick one is from Amazon. So I used a mix of both and it is holding together pretty well. I did crimp it, as you can see. It's also such good quality that first, the ink is not rubbing. My Office Depot brochure paper also does not rub, um, but everyone knows that it's really heavy. The Office Depot brand paper is 50 pounds, um, and so it is very heavy and occasionally difficult to use. I'm used to it, so I use it, but if you're not used to it, you're not gonna like it. But you can see that the quality, even when I crimped it, that color did not bleed, it did not crack, anything like that. You can see that there. All right, so let me know what you guys think. Um, if you've already been using it, you know, go ahead and make fun of me. I know I'm behind on the times. Um, I really think that's all there is to it. I just wanted to show you guys, like, honestly, it's, it's great. I'm definitely, probably, that was stupid, definitely, probably. I'm like most likely going to end up purchasing this paper in bulk just as I do my Office Depot brochure paper, um, depending, I guess, on if anything has a discount or a sale, and, um, and then end up just using that for everything, you know. Um, I, I really like this, and then because it's uh, for inkjet only, the color quality, like, it matches pretty much exactly what I see on Photoshop when I'm designing versus with my laser it would have changed the colors a tiny bit like the tint and I know that it wouldn't have matched exactly what I saw on my computer so I, I don't know I, there's just kind of bonuses all around like I said the only tiny 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 little con is that it's really lightweight but again it's we make wrappers every single day with regular copy paper. So if you don't have a problem with that, you shouldn't have a problem with this. You know what I'm saying? If anything, it's just beautiful and a tiny bit heavier than regular copy paper. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. Go and buy it. I honestly love this. I'm telling you, I'm probably going to just start using this for everything from now on. Maybe I'll use less hot glue in the process. So <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.